Have you ever wondered how crucial naval power is in modern warfare? In an era where global dynamics are constantly shifting, the strategic significance of naval power cannot be overstated. It is the backbone of maintaining international security and stability. With the ability to control sea trade routes, a strong naval force ensures the smooth flow of commerce, which is the lifeblood of many economies worldwide. Moreover, naval power plays an instrumental role in projecting military might across the globe. It allows nations to respond swiftly and decisively to emerging threats, far beyond their territorial boundaries. This global presence not only deters potential adversaries, but also reassures allies, fostering an environment of peace and cooperation. In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, one class of warship stands out as a symbol of modern naval power, the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers of the United States Navy. These technologically advanced vessels are a testament to the evolving nature of warfare, where the balance of power is often decided not just by sheer force, but also by the effective utilization of cutting-edge technology. But these ships still pack a large punch of their own. One of the most significant contributors to the modern naval power is the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers of the United States Navy. The inception of the Arleigh Burke-class dates back to the 1980s. This was a time when the United States was looking for a new kind of warship, one that could not only meet the challenges of the Cold War, but also adapt to the rapidly evolving face of modern warfare. The development of the Arleigh Burke class was driven by a need for a multi-mission destroyer that could excel in anti-air, anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare. The design philosophy behind this class was simple yet profound, versatility. The U.S. Navy needed a platform robust enough to handle diverse combat scenarios and flexible enough to incorporate future technological advancements. The first ship of this class, the USS Arleigh Burke, was commissioned in July 1991. Its Aegis Combat System, a centralized automated command and control weapons control system, was a game changer. It could track over 100 targets simultaneously, providing the U.S. Navy with unprecedented situational awareness. But the Arleigh Burke class wasn't just about maintaining the status quo, it was about pushing boundaries. Over the years these ships have seen a series of upgrades, each one enhancing their capabilities and allowing them to stay ahead of potential threats. For instance, the introduction of the Vertical Launching System, or VLS, revolutionized the way these ships could engage targets. With the VLS alone they could now launch anti-air, anti-sub, and anti-surface missiles, dramatically increasing their operational flexibility. The Arleigh Burke class also saw the incorporation of advanced radar systems and improved sonar capabilities, further enhancing their ability to detect and neutralize threats. And not just that, the focus on stealth design reduced their radar cross-section, making them harder to detect by enemy sensors. But perhaps the most significant upgrade has been the introduction of the Flight 3 variant. Equipped with the powerful new air and missile defense radar, this variant is designed to deal with the increasing threat of ballistic missiles, giving the Arleigh Burke class a new lease on life and ensuring their relevance in the 21st century. With its state-of-the-art technology and continuous upgrades, the Arleigh Burke class has proven to be a formidable force in the naval battlefield. Their adaptability and resilience are a testament to their design philosophy, one that continues to shape the future of naval warfare. The Arleigh Burke class is not just a regular naval ship, it is a technological marvel. This class of guided missile destroyers stands as a testament to modern naval engineering, with specifications that are nothing short of impressive. Let's start with its dimensions. The Arleigh Burke class spans a length of over 500 feet, with a beam width of just about 66 feet. It stands tall with a draft of about 30 feet. The displacement comes in at around 9,500 tons, making it a heavyweight in the naval arena. But it's not just size that matters, it's what's inside that counts. The propulsion system of the Arleigh Burke class is a marvel in itself. Two gas turbines drive four large controllable pitch propellers, giving it the ability to reach speeds in excess of 30 knots. That's roughly 35 miles per hour on land. When it comes to armament, the Arleigh Burke class is nothing short of a floating arsenal. It boasts an assortment of weaponry, including Tomahawk missiles, Standard Missile 2S, and Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. It also has a 5-inch naval gun and multiple anti-submarine weapons, but the real gem in its crown is the Aegis Combat System. The Aegis Combat System is a centralized, automated command-and-control weapon system, 
it can detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously. This advanced system gives the Arleigh Burke class a significant edge on the high seas, allowing it to handle threats from the air, surface, and even under the sea, all at the same time, that is, if the US is willing to use its capabilities. The technical prowess of the Arleigh Burke class makes it one of the most advanced naval ships in the world. Its specifications not only highlight the cutting-edge technology that powers it, but also demonstrate the strategic advantage it brings to the United States Navy. With such a formidable force on the seas, it's no wonder the Arleigh Burke class has earned its place as a cornerstone of the U.S. naval fleet. The Arleigh Burke class has seen multiple combat scenarios and has proven its mettle every time. This vessel's combat record is nothing short of impressive, having demonstrated exceptional performance in a variety of challenging situations. Let's take a moment to appreciate some specific instances where the Arleigh Burke class has shown its prowess. For instance, during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, these destroyers played a crucial role. They launched Tomahawk cruise missiles providing support to ground forces and demonstrating their long-range strike capability. This was a clear testament to their power and precision, as they successfully eliminated enemy targets with minimal collateral damage. But that's not all. The Arleigh Burke class has also been active in anti-piracy operations around the Horn of Africa. Their superior speed and maneuverability, combined with their advanced surveillance systems, made them an effective deterrent against pirate attacks, contributing to the safety and security of international shipping lanes. More recently, the Arleigh Burke class has shown its ability to engage with less technologically advanced threats. Just think about the incident in the Red Sea, where an Arleigh Burke destroyer successfully shot down drones. This demonstrated the class's adaptability and readiness to confront evolving threats in modern warfare. The only problem with such engagements is that the US is losing millions of dollars in armaments in each exchange with a primitive drone. The Arleigh Burke class's combat performance isn't just about firepower though. It's also about the strategic advantages it offers. With its advanced Aegis combat system, it can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, making it a vital asset in any naval conflict. These instances are just a few highlights of the Arleigh Burke class's combat record. Its consistent performance in diverse scenarios reflects the vessel's versatility and resilience. Whether it's long-range strikes, anti-piracy operations or engaging with modern drone technology, the Arleigh Burke class has proven time and time again that it can rise to the challenge. The Arleigh Burke class's combat performance solidifies its standing as a formidable naval asset. With its proven track record, it's clear that the Arleigh Burke class will continue to play a vital role in the U.S. Navy's operations, standing as a testament to American naval power and innovation. The Arleigh Burke class is not just a thing of the past, it continues to play an active role and has a promising future. In recent actions, these formidable vessels have proven their worth, like when they successfully intercepted drones in the Red Sea. Their advanced Aegis combat system and AN-SPY-1D radar give them an edge, allowing for simultaneous operations against air, surface and subsurface threats, a truly multifaceted defense. Useful if the United States is bold enough to use their billion-dollar toys. But what does the future hold for the Arleigh Burke class? The good news is, they are set for a series of upgrades. The Flight 3 upgrade in particular is expected to enhance their capabilities significantly. This upgrade includes the installation of the AN Spy 6 V1 radar, which has over 30 times the sensitivity of the current radar system. This will greatly improve the ship's ability to detect and track enemy targets. Moreover, the Arleigh Burke class is set to continue playing a vital role in the US Navy's surface fleet. As the Ticonderoga class cruisers approach the end of their service life, the Arleigh Burks will take on an even more significant role in power projection. This is especially crucial given the increasing naval threats posed by nations such as China, which plans to build a force of formidable Type 055 Renhai-class cruisers. However, it's not just about maintaining a balance of power. The Arleigh Burke class also symbolizes the Navy's commitment to innovation and adaptability. Their continuous upgrades reflect the Navy's determination to stay ahead of the curve, to meet ever-evolving threats with cutting-edge technology and strategic foresight. As the Navy continues to modernize its fleet and refine its tactics, the Arleigh Burke class will undoubtedly remain at the forefront. Their versatility and adaptability make them a crucial asset in the Navy's strategic arsenal. These destroyers are more than just warships, they are a testament to the Navy's resilience and readiness for the challenges of the future.
With its continuous upgrades and active role, the Arleigh Burke class is set to remain a key player in naval warfare. Let's revisit the key points we've discussed about the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers. We've established the pivotal role naval power plays in modern warfare. With the vastness of the world's oceans as a stage, naval vessels like the Arleigh Burke class become potent tools for power projection, maintaining peace, and ensuring global security. The journey of the Arleigh Burke class is a testament to American innovation and resilience. Born out of the need for a multi-role combatant that can excel in both open ocean and littoral waters, the Arleigh Burke class has evolved over the years, with upgrades in design and technology to remain at the forefront of naval warfare. Technically, the Arleigh Burke class is a marvel. Packed with a range of weaponry from Tomahawk missiles to anti-submarine torpedoes, and equipped with the advanced Aegis combat system, these destroyers are built to handle a variety of threats. Their four gas turbine engines give them the speed and maneuverability to operate in diverse scenarios, while their robust design ensures they can withstand significant damage and stay in the fight. When it comes to combat performance, the Arleigh Burke class has proven its mettle time and again. From shooting down drones in the Red Sea to participating in various combat operations, these destroyers have shown their versatility and reliability on the battlefield. Looking to the future, the Arleigh Burke class remains a vital part of the fleet. With the Navy's plans to continually upgrade these ships, and their role in missile defense becoming increasingly important, the Arleigh Burke class is poised to remain a dominant force in the naval landscape for at least the next 15 years. The Arleigh Burke class, with its advanced technology and proven combat performance, continues to be a cornerstone of modern naval power.